Hey YouTube, this is a teardown video of the new 2018 Razer Blade 15 inch laptop, including heat sink removal for those interested in performing a thermal paste or thermal pad upgrade. I was already doing mine today, so I thought I'd record the teardown for you. Please remember that performing this is at your own risk and may void your warranty or cause damage to your computer. Also, please forgive my lighting where I was recording was dark and I used a headlamp to see. Now let's begin. Start by removing the 10 Torx T5 screws holding the bottom cover. There is no tricks taking it off, but there is a single lip at the rear you need to be conscious of during reassembly or else the rear of the cover won't seat properly. Now is a good time to go ahead and disconnect your battery. Simply just lift it up. It's kind of like a socket you just straight up. The next step is to remove the rubber screw covers that support the bottom panel from flexing onto the heat sink. There should probably be four, but Razer thought I shouldn't have more than three for some reason. Now's the time to start removing the tape holding the display cable to the heat sink and the board. There are three separate locations where the cable is taped. One's right here at the RAM, another is at the sockets, and the last is just right there in the middle of the heat sink. Please forgive my hands for being in the way here. I wasn't being conscious of the camera as I was recording this. To remove the large upper display cable, simply rotate the metal lever in a counterclockwise direction and pull horizontally to remove it out sideways. The best way to do this is to use that metal lever as the pry tool to pull it out to the side. I was taking a little long to do this, but I was just trying to be careful. The next cable removes by prying the white clip up and in a clockwise direction, then by simply pulling the cable out in the opposite direction. There shouldn't be any force required to remove that cable once that clip is flipped up. Now gently remove the display cables that are taped to the heatsink and rest them out of your way. Be very gentle. With every step, just take your time, there's no hurry, and you really, really don't want to screw anything up. Now we're finally down to the heatsink. There are 11 screws total holding the heatsink onto the board. Eight larger screws in the middle, and three smaller screws around the perimeter. Start with the smaller screws on the perimeter, the left and right of the fins. The screw to the right of the fence is covered by a black and white wire that is held down by tape. Finally, remove the eight primary screws in reverse tightening order, starting from eight and counting your way down to one. Please use adequate pressure when tightening and removing these screws. If you're not pushing hard enough with your screwdriver, you could strip these screws out and you really don't want to do that.
Very gently pry multiple corners of the heat sink until it finally gives way. This resistance is only the thermal pads holding the heat sink down to the board. It just has to break free. Don't apply too much pressure to the outside corners of this heat sink. Just make sure they're free. Apply most of your lifting force at the middle near the eight screws. Congratulations, you've now torn down your razor blade. Please drop me a like before you exit out of the video. It would really help me out. Thank you guys very much and have a blessed day.